Welcome to the Octavius Gold Experience and I am your host, Octavius Gold. Today I'm excited to bring to you episode 22 titled, 10 Major External Forces That Affect Businesses. What are external forces in business? Businesses are impacted by internal and external forces. While internal forces are within an organization's control because they stem from within, external forces are not. So what exactly are external forces in business? External forces are aspects outside of the organization or business that affects its operation, strategy, and success. If you're a CEO or entrepreneur, you know that the dynamic within which businesses operate are constantly changing, especially as the world continues to recover from a global pandemic. Businesses can't control external forces, but corporate leaders and entrepreneurs must be equipped to respond to them well by making decisions to achieve sustainable success. My friends, here's what you all must keep in mind. External forces can affect a business positively or negatively. In many cases, it can even be both. External forces in business can drive a business to success or failure. This is why strategic and tactical business planning is mission critical. Moreover, during the business planning stage, corporate executives and entrepreneurs must strategize while being mindful of the external forces that impact their industry and organizational environment. The 10 external factors and forces that I personally coach executives and entrepreneurs to plan for or against are as follows. Number one, economic forces. This consists of factors that assist in determining the competitiveness of the environment in which a company or organization operates. Economic forces also influence the strategies that organizations must consider to remain competitive in situations such as when interest rates increase, like we're experiencing now in the U.S. Examples of economic forces consist of the U.S. inflation rate, America's unemployment levels, and even fiscal policies. Number two, social forces. Social forces impact products, services, markets, and customers since social class structure and mobility has tremendous impact. There's also now a shift to how consumers purchase products due to the emergence of technology driven by the internet. Examples of social forces are workplace attitudes, social responsibility and religion, since they are all becoming major factors that affect organizations, both large and small. Number three, cultural forces. This force impacts products, services, markets, and customers too. With an increased number of companies doing business globally, customs are influencing how companies manage employees, as well as their strategies in relations to overseas partnerships and expansions. In the U.S., we often see racial tension affecting various company brands due to boycotts. Number four, demographic forces. This one impacts products, services, markets, and customers as well. As many of you know, the America's Baby Boomers 2, people ages 58 to 67, plan to retire soon. This situation has actually heightened the concern over Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. As we saw during the past few presidential races, the Latino population is growing quickly and becoming a major factor in the U.S. business environment as well. Number five, natural environment forces. This force can impact the availability and quality of raw materials and energy supply. In California and other Western states, this comes in a form of water restrictions that those residents are often experiencing. Weather conditions as Floridians recently experienced with Hurricane, Hurricane Ian can also impact the demand in many industries. Number six, political forces. Politics is a major force that comes into play as we hear continuously now during the midterm election season, as well as when elected, elected officials enact laws that impact the decisions made by CEOs and business executives. For over a decade, offshore drilling has been a hot topic that not only has affected the oil industry, but consumers as well. The United States government foreign relations also play a major role when it comes to 
politics being a force that impact businesses. I like to keep politics out of business, and this is a business podcast, so I'll just move on. <laughs> Number seven, governmental forces come into play in situations like when American soldiers must rely on our government to protect their rights in the workplace. Another example of government spending that is uh, a hot topic as well as we deal with increased inflation rates. Number eight, legal forces. This force consists of legislation which impacts an organization's business dealings and or activities. Laws and regulations pertaining to mergers, EEOC, copyrights and trademarks impact organizations across America, big and small. Unlike major corporations, small businesses and entrepreneurs lack many of the resources required to deal with the impact that legal forces can have on their business success. For example, in some states, background checks and salary inquiries must be handled differently today, putting negligent businesses in legal jeopardy. Number nine, te technological forces. This force pertains to the influences that innovation has on businesses and the manner in which they operate. Mobile technology has not only changed the way businesses communicate, as you all know, it's also altering products and the services that some businesses actually offer. For example, junk fax laws that came into action back in 2003 drove profits down for several companies that delivered broadcast faxing services. However, the impact was short lived as they figured out that their customers preferred receiving their documents distribution via secure email, which birthed e-fax services. And today, we would look at business, business professionals side-eyed if they said they were waiting on a fax. So I hope everyone has adopted e-signing with DocuSign or some other provider. Number 10, competitive forces. Competition will always influence the competitive position of companies with differentiation be, being a difficult thing to capture in some competitive industries due to duplication of efforts in services and products. Threats of new companies entering into a company's space is always a concern, especially to small businesses and entrepreneurs who lack innovation and great creativity, as I discussed in previous episodes. My friends, once you've determined the external factors that will most likely materially affect your business, think about the possible ways to address them. I think it's wise to have a strategic plan of action for the items you think could actually occur even if you don't apply resources to your plan at this time to address them. I also recommend to executives and entrepreneurs who I coach to further analyze their business and or business prospects using a SWOT analysis. SWOT is S-W-O-T and it stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. A SWOT analysis will help business professionals understand their internal strength, strengths and weaknesses, combining the information with what they've learned about the prevailing external forces that will help identify the best path forward. In closing, stay current on external factors affecting your business. I recommend to clients that they conduct environmental scans on a semi-annual or annual basis. This frequency Frequency ensures that they stay current on external forces that can impact their organization in both positive and negative ways. The process isn't just for Fortune 1000 corporations. It's mission critical for small businesses and entrepreneurs that don't have a recognizable brand or steady revenue that larger organizations possess and may be susceptible to the influence of these external forces. If you don't have the bandwidth or the time to conduct the analysis that I mentioned regularly, outsource it. Outsource it to a coach like myself or someone who is reputable that you know. My friends, if you covet compelling content on entrepreneurship or leadership, please hit like, share, and subscribe my podcast today so you can be alerted to future episodes. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next episode. Carpe diem.